no matter what, you have a business culture. Whether you build it intentionally or not, you have a business culture. It's a combination of the values and belief systems of everyone on your team, and it's there, okay? But if you don't build it intentionally, you it might suck you out, and you might spit you out somewhere where you don't want to be. So this is how, these are four ways that you can start to build a winning culture of retention. And the first way is communication. And what I mean by communication is communication should be positive and impactful. It should flow freely throughout your department, from parts to service and advisors to techs, and it should flow freely. And, should, and when I say positive, what I mean is people should welcome communication. Even if I'm correcting and I'm challenging someone because their performance is low and I'm trying to make them better and I've got to have a difficult conversation, if communication is, is being done right, they're gonna see it as positive. They're gonna want that communication. They're gonna be like, man, my boss is pouring into me right now. This is awesome. Even if it might sting a little bit. When I say impactful, communication needs to be impactful. I believe the highest form of communication is when people take action. Why else are we communicating? But there's seven layers you have to get through to get them to take action in any engagement. I'm hearing, but are you Listening, exactly. Now, even if you're listening, what if they don't understand? Yes. And if they, do, and even if they're hearing, listening, and understand, what if they, they, they still won't take action if they don't agree? And if, and if they hear, listen, understand, and agree, they still can't do it if they don't have the uh, goals, goals, and that ability, ability. If they don't have the ability to do it, they won't take action. And then they have to want to do it and need to do it. And if all of those boxes are checked, they will take action. I promise you that. So communication has got to be positive and impactful. Second off, alignment to the direction of the company. Does everyone know where your bus is going and are they excited to be on that bus? Clarity around expectations. Expectations. Uh, without clear expectations, people make up their own. And finally, value of people. I said it earlier, I'll say it again, when people feel valued and appreciated and when they're, they're skilling up, they're learning the right things and, and they feel like they can grow with you and they, they know you care about them, they're going to be more productive and it's going to make your company more successful.